So you're in Paris. I'm in Paris. So yeah. you're experiencing this from such a different perspective than us. Yeah. Am I the first like non-American guest? Yes, I have a couple other people, but you're the first. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <All right>. uh, <laughs> it's time zone thing, I'm sure. They just... Um, <laughs> but um, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's a... Um, I, I've been doing bits a little bit for the first little part there, but like, um, yeah, it. I'm sure you guys are exposed to a fair amount of the news, and you're also coming through your, like, you're in LA where you're just about to hit your like first big wave of it. Yes. Like from what I'm understanding, the governor or the mayor, I can't remember who just said that, like prepare for like this week, like Wednesday, Thursday is going to get real tough yeah. on LA. Um, and, uh, and we've kind of, we've been going through that and we're kind of, I, I'm no expert or professional, but yeah. like fingers crossed going through the, tail end of the first peak but like that doesn't mean that it's not it's 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 rising exponentially every day and right. it's, it's gruesome over here right. um and um i have quite a lot of friends and family uh well extended family like my sister-in-law and um uh, my my partner's mother are both nurses or my, sorry, my sister-in-law's a doctor my my partner's mom's a nurse and like you know she's uh she's 63 she's about a couple years away from retirement and she's Mm -hmm. just um i don't know if it's a thing in the u.s but in the healthcare system here like um even if you're in private practice you can be what they call requisitioned uh by the government basically like to go in and 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 work uh you know uh and uh that's uh so yeah we're all i'm staying in touch i was actually just on the phone with a friend who's a midwife for Planned Parenthood in Pasadena okay. uh, uh, and she was just like having a rough day today where she was like this has been a rough 48 hours and it feels like it's going to get even rougher um, Yeah, but um, I'm totally not answering your question I just realized no please so, that's, that's what I want I want to hear what you're going through what everybody's going through that's I think cool. the only way anybody's going to get through any of this is just like together <laughs> yeah, yeah no 100% um, yeah for, for the people who I guess uh, don't know me watching this I'm a, a musician and general goofball and performance artist. Uh, yeah. And so like in one way, there's part of me, that's like the creative side that's always been kind of like solitary, which yeah. has gotten rather weirdly well prepared for a yeah. time like this. Cause I'm comfortable in my own thoughts and I'm comfortable being alone for long periods of time. Yeah. And like, you can't see it cause I'm in my bedroom, but in my living room, I've got like 15 instruments and I've got like everything i could need on top of like i'm really grateful that i have an amazing balcony with sunshine and so yes. like you know like there's tons of little things that are out of my control but the things that are in my control i'm very grateful that like i have a lot of ways to to keep myself healthy through all this yeah. and uh one of those like you said is like together you know like you i've, I've been slowly live streaming for the first time in my life and like yeah playing music and like completely relinquishing all uh, all urges to be prepackaged or, yeah. or edited in some way. Yeah. And just since we're all doing it the same way, you know, like from the bedroom guitarist to like Chris Martin from, is that his name? Chris Martin? Yeah. From Cold Spring? Yeah. Uh, and, you know, and whoever else and everyone and their mother is like live streaming right now. So like, it's that, you know, my mom's learned how to use WhatsApp and is like <laughs> <laughs> sending me memes. And that first it was funny. And then she starts sending me memes that I sent her at the beginning of this wave. <laughs> then, like, you know, it just hasn't connected quite yet. Yeah. And I'm, lo- I'm loving seeing this weird descent into madness. Have you happen. perfected your stock answer, LOL? Or yeah. as my best friend uses, ha 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 ha. Every time. <laughs> I'm like, really? Did you really laugh like that? <laughs> My mom uh, is one of those firm. She's a hundred percent Italian from Italy. Uh, that's where Italians are from. Right. And uh, she genuinely uh, doesn't know that LOL is lots of laughs or laugh out loud. <laughs> she thinks it's lots of love. Aww, um, which so, that's sweet too. It's sweet, but she'll like often send that in caps, <laughs> and I'm like. I mean, I love it, but also not for the same reason. That's so sweet. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Um, and funnily enough, she's a conference interpreter, so yeah. she should probably learn yeah. like, <laughs> modern <laughs> slang. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, so you? I love your videos of like your 
community's like concert balconies. Oh, thanks. How did that uh, begin? Like, how did that? How, oh, how did? Uh, so, um, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Italy. Yeah, of course, it blew up all over the internet. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of blew up in Italy, um, and like their their entire experience as a country with this has been like about ten days ahead of France, right? Um, or at least ten days ahead of Paris. Like other parts of the country have like kind of a ripple delayed effect, but um, uh, so I think someone, some wise human, decided to set up a Facebook event and or some sort of social media thing and like pass the word along. Uh, we're going to be doing the same thing, like 8 o'clock on your balconies. And, um, I love and like, a couple of nights, it was, like, kind of quiet, but it was still nice. And, um, and uh, yeah, I uh, I think, like, from the very get-go, I, I decided, like, okay, this is the, the, the time of the night or the day where we're all just going to have, like, a, a collective reset. Yeah. And a collective moment of, like, hey, yeah, we really are all in this together. Yeah. Um, even though we feel helpless and we feel like, you know, we're, we're equally, or maybe not equally, but at least we're very similarly underprepared and under equipped. And, uh, you know, there's not much we can do for the healthcare professionals aside from that. And, um, it's been, it's been, I think in a lot of ways, really nice to just, yeah, uh, get outside and hear everyone cheer and clap in their own way. Some people blast, you know, survival lyrics, based songs uh <laughs> including like destiny child and the survivor uh there's yeah there was some queen songs that came out there was what um, else? can uh, i put in uh, my request that you blast um what doesn't kill you makes you stronger by kelly clarkson my queen oh hell yeah absolutely thank yeah, you yeah yeah absolutely um and today was actually the first time i had watched it while being outside uh for like we're, we're allowed in Paris to have a one hour maximum walk in okay. a one kilometer radius of our uh, apartment. And we have to fill out a really long winded, like handwritten wow. note, uh, like an old school, like my dog ate my homework. Yeah. But, like, a lot of legalese. And, um, that's, and so I was nice. walking out. yeah, it's really wild. Um, it's, it's a uh, declaration d'attestation. No, attestation de, uh, or something or another. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I don't know, so it sounds good to me. Yeah, right? I'm yeah. making up French as mm-hmm. we go along. <laughs> um, what do you and, think uh, you've learned from your, like, learned about yourself from, like, this these last few weeks? Oh, I love that question. Um, I, I've realized that, um, one, I'm... I'm truly comfortable with who I am at this age, at this period of my life. Yeah. Um, that, that was like a nice reinforced feeling of being like, Oh, like I'm not like, I'm not really lacking or feeling lacking or feeling like anything needs to get better or worse or I'm not, you know, um, whatever the small stuff that I used to sweat or existential stuff that I sweat once in a while. Yeah. Like, yeah I'm not saying I'm perfect, but like, I'm finally at a place now where I'm much more comfortable in my shoes than I wow. was all through my twenties. Yeah. Uh, I'm 33 and, uh, yeah, it's, it was that like fascinating realization. I was like, Oh yeah, that's, that's intense to realize. Um, I, I'm, I'm a real vegetable lover and fruit lover. Okay. Like, um, I grew up in a carnivore. I know it's so ridiculous. Um, like I'm a, I grew up in a carnivore house. Like my dad is like your typical American from New York, like just grills meat till it's black and burnt and hot. like, yeah, super hot. Yeah. So hot. <laughs> my roommate um, burned our grilled cheese yesterday, and they were literally like one side of it was literally like solid black, <laughs> but I still ate it. It was good. Don't look at me like that. But it was good. I was like, okay. And lastly, what uh, are you looking forward to most once you can reemerge into whatever the world is going to be? Oh, I love that. Um, so I don't know if I've ever told you, but I I've, I started performing uh, as a street musician okay. uh, about, what was it, um, now about uh, 12 years ago. Yeah, 12 years ago now. Um and for the last uh, five years, I've lived in Paris. And in the last three and a half years, I've been uh, an official musician of the Metro here, uh, Musicien du Metro. They have 
um, auditions every six months, and it's like a rather competitive thing, okay. oddly enough. Um, and so that's been uh, not only a source of revenue, but an amazing source of community building, yeah. an amazing source of um, also like just sociologically, like I love looking at humans and observing behavior and yeah. like, and there's no better like testing ground as a musician than to like try your ideas out in a place where no one's paying attention to you. Right. Um, and so like as much fun it is to try my ideas out when no one's paying attention to me in my apartment, like, oh, I am dying. I never thought in a million years I'd say this, but I am dying to get back into that dirty, stinky, like, <laughs> like messy, messy, messy metro. Yeah. Uh, and just playing for like 12 hours a day and like just having a blast on my days off where I can go down there and, and just really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think because like I've been testing live streaming as well as also not streaming anything, but just doing concerts on my balcony for my neighbors. Yeah. Uh, but it's also like it's that fine line of like performing as a service, but also I don't want to step on anyone's toes and I don't want to like. I want to respect that line of like, this is where I live and I'd, I'd rather you shut up and let me do my own thing. Yes, um, exactly. Yeah. Whereas in, it's why I've always loved the Metro where it's like, if you don't like it, well, you can just keep walking because right. you're not, you know, so like that's, that's the beauty of the Metro. It's like the only time someone walks, turns and stops and watches is when they like, they want to be there actively right. and the very physical sign of like, Hey, I like what you're doing. Um, and as someone who's like a performer who doesn't, want to force myself into other people's spaces. Yeah. Uh, I really appreciate that sort of like that relationship and that dynamic of the Metro. Yeah. So that's, that's my big thing about uh, this. What about you? Uh, um, I just am ready to like the same. I miss seeing people's faces. People mm -hmm. just is watching how people exist when like now I see people like if I go to the grocery store, but they're also panicky. It's like not mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. And just like, I miss having the routine. Like, I don't miss work, obviously. I mean, who misses going to work? But, like, I miss the routine of, like, being out of the house for, like, a certain amount of time. Totally. Um, yeah, and, like, I would say that, like, what I just said was, like, one, uh, like, that's a very personal, like, solitary uh, yeah, yeah, of course. desire. Um, the second most, and, like, our, it's probably the first one, and I think it's on the top of everyone's list. Like, just physical intimacy. Like, of course. Like, hug someone, um, like I, yeah, it's, it's that wild thing where like, I've had a couple of phone calls with friends having a hard time and like, yeah, we can connect in so many ways, but the one thing we can't do is just show up at their door and give them a hug yeah. and like, you know, um, God, I'd love to be able to offer that to the friends who need it right now. Yeah. And also I can't wait to, I can't wait to give my friends like awkwardly long hugs because I'm of an course. awkwardly long hugger. Yeah. And, but yeah, and I, you know, I love it when we have our hugged, uh, we had, when we had our hug in LA, uh, yeah. when I came back uh, in February, yeah. Oh, good. Um, yeah. Oh, you yeah. did come back in February. I thought you meant you're coming yeah, back. Yeah, I'm sorry. When I came back, and we we hugged. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you'll be back. Yeah, no, I, I I had planned to come back right before all this hit the fan. I was like ready to buy another ticket because yeah. tickets are pretty cheap, right? Yeah. Before same. before this, like before the airline industry and everything else, like right. uh, uh, you know, I came out for next to nothing for peanuts. I was surprised, so yeah. um. You know, once this is all settled, I'm going to come back out and give you a big hug. Okay, please. Thank you so much for doing this. I'm glad I got to see you, you even if it's through the phone. My pleasure. Uh, I hope I didn't talk too much. Nope. I feel like I didn't ask please. you enough questions. I didn't, like, listen to you enough. Um, I talk a lot, so I'm so thrilled to hear other people talk. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, please cool. take care of yourself. Stay safe. Likewise. And Reach we'll, out I'll see you soon. Take Bye. Care, Bye.